Hey everybody, this is uh, Mr. Walsh talking to you about um, how to use the Hayden McNeil Late Night Lab Simulator. There's a separate video on the syllabus, there's a separate video on how to navigate Blackboard. This one is specifically designed to help you get set up with the lab sim uh, for RCBC. So in any place that you want, whether it's in the um, in the top layer of the course content, or if it's in one of the weekly assignments, or if it's over here in the in the taskbar, wherever it is, they all lead you to the same place. So if you click on here, it's going to ask you to launch. This is my version of the courses. You probably will go here, and you will have to either register as a new user if you've never used um, the Hayden McNeil uh learning software or you may if you've used this learning software just log in using your existing thing now as a new user you can click here and it'll give you opportunities to plug in your access code you should have gotten that all from um, uh, the bookstore before this um, it does give you an option to buy the um, access to the to the simulators online using a credit card the key here is to make sure that you use the same email address that is in your Baron one account okay so whatever your RCBC email address is please use that okay let me reiterate please use that um, email address from your uh, your your RCBC email address okay so let's go to um, the labs. Once you register, you'll find that you are in this uh, CHE 108 650, uh, and my name will be there, Walsh. That's me. Hi. And then you open it, and you'll go through here, and you'll see all the labs. Okay. You, actually, you may not even see all the labs. Um, you may only see some of the labs because I'm trying not to burden you with all the things that you have done and they'll show up and then things that need to be done. I'm trying to keep it um, streamlined so that you're only seeing the things that are due now. Okay, so the dates here will line up with the dates that are um, that are in Blackboard. Okay, so you'll notice that this particular lab is available um, starting July 8th, and it has to be completed by July 14th at 11.55. Okay, so don't push your luck. Try to get them done early. So we're going to go into the labs. So you go into the lab, and when you go into the lab, you'll see there's this um, introduction to labs. This is the first lab. Introduction to lab simulations. You can read about all of this. You can read through all the background material you go through this there's navigation tools this is actually your very first lab that you're gonna to have to do um, and then you'll click on the right arrow and then it says and then now you're ready to do the experiments now in order to do the experiments you're gonna to have to flip back and forth between the directions here and the actual simulator okay so the simulator if you click this little box with the ice cube with the atomic symbol behind it or whatever it happens to be uh, that's going to open up the simulator and you get to start the lab so you start the lab you put on your PPE personal protective equipment and then you can enter the lab so now you're gonna have to toggle between what you're gonna do in the lab here and then actually doing it. Uh, in order to use this, this is a, it's kind of like a game interface, um, maybe an older game and maybe not such a fun game, but at least it's kind of gamey. So if you want like a balance, you're gonna have to take the balance and you put it on the lap bench, okay? If you want a beaker, you can take a beaker and you can put it on the lab bench, okay? You can take the beaker and put it on the balance and it gives you the mass of that beaker. Okay, if you want to put this, oh, look, dirty containers can only be placed in the sink. I'm going to put this right in the sink. Okay, okay, so 
uh, get a small beaker, 50 milliliter beaker. You'll see you navigate the arrows to get all the different things. If you are looking for different things, that the, the names pop up. Okay, so that's good. The chemicals are up here on the on this top shelf. Okay, one of the things that happens is sometimes if you toggle through all the all the chemicals, sometimes the names take a second to catch up. So make sure you do that. Okay, so we're gonna take water and we're gonna put it in the container. And let's say we want fifteen point three milliliters of water. Okay, you can see it's filling up. Okay, and then maybe we want to get the mass of the water in that beaker. There it is. Okay, so you can play around. If you need to put this in the waste container, you dump it in there, and then it's now it's empty, and you can put this in the sink and be done with it. Okay, and so um, for lab simulation software, I think it's pretty good. Um, one of the things that you're going to have to make sure you do is keep uh, pen and paper handy or you know, something to write with in paper because you're going to have to take the information. There's no place in the simulation to write data down. So that data is stuff that you're going to need in order to do the lab questions, uh, the multiple choice questions, and the quizzes. Okay, so that's good. So once you get done with the lab, okay, then you're going to have to, then you can go to the multiple choice questions. Once you go there, you can answer the multiple choice questions. It's not letting me answer this, but um, it, you know, it's it's a typical multiple choice question thing. All multiple, ch all these um, multiple choice questions are open notes, open um, open information. So feel free to look in your notes. You may need information from the lab as you answer them. Okay, so. That's how to use the lab simulator. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Um, the sooner you ask, the sooner we can get them set in and so that you don't miss due dates and things like that. Okay. Uh, have a great day, everybody.